Hey guys, HDV here, and welcome to a brand new video. Today, we have a bunch of new information to go over. We've got some stuff for new Pokemon Snap, new screenshots, and a new challenge in that game. And then as well as that, we have a sprinkle of information about Pokemon Sleep. Yes, the day has finally come. We've got a little bit of news about that bloody mobile game, which everybody thought they just kind of scrapped. So if you are excited for today's video, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It really does help out. Leave a comment. What are your thoughts about new Pokemon Snap and Pokemon Sleep? You forgot about it or you're excited about it? Let me know and subscribe if you're brand new. We do daily Pokemon content on this channel. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and take a look at the latest Pokemon information. So, starting things off, we're just going to be taking a look at a couple of screenshots um, for new Pokemon Snap. We've got a couple more. I love this kind of like Twitter thing. I, I don't know what it says. It's hashtag new something. But basically, all the new Pokemon Snap stuff just gets put here. It's great. So, obviously, we've got the Eevee stuff. I don't know if you saw that from the previous video. We obviously have the Pikachu riding the Stunfisk. Uh, we have the Heliolisk running in... In the best way possible, let's be honest. He's got he's, he's got a great running stride. Uh, but now we have uh, this Tangrowth picture as well, which I think now does confirm Tangrowth in new Pokemon Snap. I don't think it was confirmed before this picture. Um, but yeah, he's just stretching out his arm. He's just doing his daily yoga. You know, he's having a good time. And then as well as that, we also have this Pukamuku picture as well. Again, just a couple more Pokemon interacting with each other, which is what Pokemon Snap brings out. This is something you're going to see a lot, just two Pokemon doing whatever uh, as you just glide by them. I don't know if they're having an arm wrestle or something, but yeah, they're, they're, they're doing something. It looks like the most gruesome high five ever. But uh, yeah, some new screenshots of new Pokemon Snap there for you. Next up, we actually have this. So this is taken from Poke Experto. And uh, this is also about new Pokemon Snap, but it is also about Pokemon Go as well, which I didn't really think about before, but I'm guessing there's going to be quite a lot of um, things intertwining about these two games. Um, so they posted saying, new Pokemon Snap event discovered in Pokemon Go traffic. So in Pokemon Go, I'm guessing, or Pokemon Snap, I don't really know. It says, take photos of Hoot Hoot, Geodude, Sandshrew, Cacnea, Lotad, Metapod, Apom, Love Disk, Jinchao, Binion, Skarmory, Dodrio, and Mantine. And then take pictures of Pokemon of each type. Um, so I'm guessing this is in Pokemon Go, but I, I haven't played Pokemon Go in a while, so I don't really know what the kind of photo taking picture camera thing is like now. I don't know if they made it a lot easier or whatever, or you have to have them as your buddy to do it. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, I'm guessing this is some sort of promotional event for new Pokemon Snap. But it would not surprise me if there's a lot more things like this in Pokemon Snap and then also in Pokemon Go as well to try and link the two games. Um, but yeah, I think that's really, really cool that Pokemon Go is just one of those games that just seems to be able to link with anything really. Um, because it's just got such a wide kind of variety of things going on for it. Um, so yeah, it's going to be really cool to see that. Obviously, new Pokemon Snap is coming out very, very soon. 30th of April. Um, it's, it's not long at all. We might get like one more trailer. We still don't know if like shiny Pokemon are going to be confirmed or anything like that. I really, really hope they are um, because it's just going to make the, the game's longevity so much better. And, and, and it's going to just make people want to play it even more. But uh, yeah, that is the new Pokemon stuff um, for new Pokemon Snap. Now, next up, we have this Pokemon Sleep. Something that was just forgotten about. Uh, this was announced in May, I believe, 2019, as well as Detective Pikachu 2. And then since that day, nearly two years ago, we have had no information, no updates. Don't even know if it's still getting worked on. Nothing like that. Um, but today, well, I think yesterday, actually. This was posted on the 5th of April. So, yeah, yesterday or the day before. I don't know when this is going on, but recently, Pokemon Sleep um, has had a little bit of sprinkle of news about it. It says there's been a new subdomain which has appeared on the official Pokemon Japan website. Um, so basically when they do this, it means that something um, is going to happen for that you know website or something similar to that. Like we, like we had that galactic thing as well um, for Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. And also we had the Pokemon events thing as well. 
Now, the Pokemon events thing can easily be linked to the 25th anniversary, but the Pokemon Galactic domain, we still don't really know what that's about. That could be for Pokemon Legends. It could be for Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. We don't really know. Um, but like I say, there is that galactic symbol on the like the clothes of the Legends Arceus protagonist. So could definitely have something to do with that. But anyway, getting off topic, there has been a new subdomain which has appeared on the official Pokemon Japan website. So this is some more information about it. This is taken from Eclipse. It says, oh boys, Pokemon Sleep, finally. So it says, it's international registration. IR trademark was confirmed in June 2020. So I don't know why we're getting this information now. Because it was done all the way last year in June. It says today we have an update and the Pokemon.co. Japan subdomains. Let it happen. So these are the subdomains. You can't really see it because of the screen records. But um, yeah, this is just all the stuff about it. It's, it's gibberish to me. I don't really understand any of it. Um, but yeah, it's basically just saying like this is like the exact same screenshot that we had for um, the Galactic thing. Like I said, I don't know if you saw a video. I made it like a month ago or something. I think it was before the Generation Four remakes were actually announced. But yeah, here it basically just said like Pokemon.Galactic.co or something. And then it also had Pokemon.Events.co or something like that. Um, but yeah, basically, this is like, why would they register a subdomain if they still had nothing to do with it? Like, we know Pokemon Sleep is a thing. It's not like this is a new thing. Like, it's, we just want some information on it. I don't even remember what it really is, to be fair. I think you just fall asleep with your Pokemon or something, and then you get steps or so. I don't really know. I don't get it. Um, but yeah, interesting that, that there's nothing here about Detective Pikachu 2. It is just Pokemon Sleep. If we go over to this article, this is taken from Screen Rant. Uh, it basically says it's been almost two years since Detective Pikachu for the Nintendo Switch and the Pokemon Sleep mobile app were announced, and there have been no updates since. The Pokemon company has made plenty of announcements about new Pokemon games since 2019, but fans still don't know the Pokemon Sleep or new Detective Pikachu games release dates. So in May 2019, the Pokemon company announced several projects at a Pokemon business strategy announcement event. We streamed it, it was a great time, it was all this new stuff. I think it was the same time Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee were announced, or around that similar time. Uh, but yeah, we obviously got Pokemon Sleep and Detective Pikachu too. Uh, nothing. <laughs> so yeah, it said, uh, oh no, it was Pokemon Masters that got announced, yeah, included for Pokemon Home, Pokemon Masters, I remember now. Most of which have been available for some time now. What We all thought that Pokemon Home was going to come out at the same time as Pokemon Sleep. It says, one of the biggest announcements made during the event was a sequel to Detective Pikachu video game for the Nintendo Switch. The original Detective Pikachu was a 3DS game that was loosely adapted into the movie of the same name. 3DS Detective Pikachu ended on a cliffhanger and developers promised the sequel would have a different ending from the film. Now I never played Detective Pikachu, it just didn't really look like my kind of game. It looked like something I was going to get bored of pretty quickly. I've heard good things about it, I've heard bad things about it. Uh, will I get the new Detective Pikachu when it finally comes out? I already don't know, probably not. Uh, I'll cover news about it, but whether I'm actually going to get it and play it, I, I'm, I'm not really sure. It might be a lot better on the Switch, we'll have to see. There's a more curious announcement made during the event was a mobile game called Pokemon Sleep, which tracks how the player sleeps. The game would do this with the aid of Pokemon Go Plus Plus device, which has the ability to monitor information about the player as they sleep. There was very little information about Pokemon Sleep given at the event, but many Pokemon fans assumed they wouldn't have to wait long to find out more. Um, and then obviously since their uh, initial announcements, Pokemon Company haven't revealed any more details about Detective Peach or Pokemon Sleep. New Pokemon Snap has been revealed will likely be released uh, before fans learn anything else about either game. So obviously this article was wrote before like we obviously got these trademarks. I, I had a look and there was like no articles about these trademarks. So I don't really know why nobody's talking about it. But this is kind of like concrete evidence that something is going to be happening with Pokemon Sleep relatively soon. Um, I don't, I, I'm not saying there's going to be like a big Pokemon Direct or anything like that. They might just drop a trailer about Pokemon Sleep or something like that. Or they might just put out like a statement about it. Um, or they could just do a big like kind of video about new uh, Detective Pikachu 2 and then um, Pokemon Sleep as well. You don't really know, but um, yeah, I'm surprised that no one's really said anything about it. But uh, uh, yeah, either way, that is pretty much going to be everything for today's video. Uh, like I say, it's just kind of crazy we finally got some Pokemon Sleep stuff after this long. Uh, it's been it's been too long. It's been way way too long. Um, but yeah. I don't know if I'm even excited for it. I don't even play Pokemon Go anymore, so I'm probably not going to play Pokemon Sleep. It's been that long that I, I I have picked Pokemon Go up, obviously when it came out in 2016, put it down after a couple of years, picked it up again, put it down again, picked it up again, and put it down again. All in the time, Pokemon Sleep has done nothing. So <laughs> maybe I'll pick it again, up again for Pokemon Sleep. Who knows? That's going to be everything for today's video, though, guys. If you did enjoy it, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 550 likes. It really does help out. Leave a comment. What are your thoughts about everything we've been over today's video? 
Uh, let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts about it on these discussion type videos and these news videos. Subscribe if you're brand new. We do daily Pokemon content on this channel. That's everything from me though. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.